So you're home, you're streaming stuff, it's the afternoon, and you feel like snacking. You need ideas? Well, maybe we can help. Today we got some Korean ready to cook snacks that you'll enjoy, so get ready because it's munch time! What's up and welcome to Lockdown Munchies, your guide to the yummiest goodies this side of the community quarantine. My name is Meg Torres and today it's part 2 of our Korean snacks mini series and we're going to have savory, ready to cook Korean munchies that I'm sure you want to get your hands on. But before we begin tasting, let's have a recap of what happened during part 1. Let's begin with the first snack from Tom's Farms. Nice and creamy, choco banana whoopie pie. Very crumbly too. Lottie's Peppero. It is one of their better flavors. It's Old Price's Strawberry Mini Wafers. Nice crunchy wafer. Sweet milk cream cookies. Almost like the flavor of whipped cream. Mm. These sweets are perfect for your afternoon munchies. Or maybe. Are you ready for more? Of course you are. That's why you're here! Well, if you're not hungry yet, I'll give it a minute, it'll sink in. Here is part two and we're going to talk about Korean ready-to-cook snacks. We're going to begin with some pork dumplings. Well, in Japan they call it gyoza, but in Korea they call it mandu. Nice crispy bottom. Really easy to cook this. All we have to do is just get a pan, put some oil, fry the dumplings for a few seconds or probably a minute or until you get the desired uh, charring. Put a dash of water, not so much. Maybe a couple of tablespoons of water. Close it and let it steam. Then you got your mandu. This mandu is from a brand called Olban. Nice, savory, salty taste, but a little sweet as well. I can taste some sweetness. That's probably coming from, well, I would guess some scallions. I'm also uh, thinking that it's got some, it's got some oniony flavor. It doesn't have garlic flavor, which I think is more prominent when you eat gyoza, but this one has a more oniony flavor. And like what I said, that's probably why it's a little sweet to the taste. Inside, it's got some vermicelli noodles, so I think it adds a nice texture to uh, this item, this snack. Of course, I'm tasting this without a sauce, and uh, I think what a good sauce would be for something like this would have to be a combination of brood soy sauce or kikuman. That's, that's uh, an example of a brand of brood soy sauce. And also, red cane vinegar that's best to use. I like the crunch at the bottom. Mm. And a nice crunch of the greens too inside. The green onion. I'm thinking there's a little bit of cabbage in there somewhere. You can either pair this up with noodles or rice. I also like the texture of the wrapper that they use. Nice, soft. You can still taste a little that springy bite, but it's just thin enough to be able to taste the flavors. Up next, we have the mochi from O Price. And this is a cheese mochi, guys. It says they're full of cheese. All right, so uh, the back of the packet says that you should either boil it or you could also microwave it. But yeah, you can steam this or boil this. You could fry it, which I did. All I had to do was just, you know, put some oil in a pan and just drop them in and wait for them to be golden brown. As you can see, the cheese is already starting to ooze out. And it's mochi, so it's made of glutinous rice. Mmm. Mmm, that crunch. I think I fried most of the cheese out because I couldn't see some, I couldn't see any cheese in here. Yeah. You see these things right here? I think that's the cheese. I think I just fried them all out. Dang. Nice and soft, really chewy. Let's see if this got some cheese. I think this one has. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Still all right. You can dip it in honey to give contrast to the flavors. Up next, we got Gluck Schwein's Corn Dog. Now, I was excited when I got this product because I enjoyed corn dogs, although uh, this is not the type of corn dog that I saw over in, uh, well, different vlogs over in Korea and also in Japan. Squared crumbly bread. So yeah, it's all right. When I saw it, I got intrigued and I want corn dog. I like the mozzarella cheese that they said it has inside and I, got, I like sausages, I like hot dogs. So let's go give it a try. Mm-hmm. Okay. Half of it is cheese and the other half you'd find the sausage. I like the batter, fluffy, 
not so airy but enjoyable it's really simple also the packaging uh, contains foreign corn dogs all you have to do is just open them they're individually packed as well so you don't have to cook everything in one go cook one or two and then have the uh, the rest for another time it's a great snack to have Mm. Mm. Nice chunky sausage. Best of both words right here. That was an enjoyable bite. Last but definitely not the least, we have these Korean bulgogi noodles. Mm, smells great. And if you're wondering how to cook these, just boil some water, put the noodles in, wait for a few minutes, three, four, five minutes. This one took five minutes. Put the seasoning, mix it, and voila, you got yourself some instant noodles. I'm excited, I'm excited. I gotta try this. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and sweet. Well, it is bulgogi flavor, and bulgogi is uh, sweet Korean barbecue, so yeah. The noodles are still nice and firm, and it's got like a meat or vegetable packet that you could also put and you know give you a nice i guess a little bit more texture you don't really notice it that much but it adds a little something as well mm. this would be good with some pieces of meat on top probably some beef right if you can get uh, if you can get a hold of uh, psychoro cubes or wagyu cubes or basically if you, even if it's just you know dice some meat you know what do some work dice some meat fry it and then put it on top it's gonna be great but since I don't got beef right now I'm gonna put some mandu in here <laughs> remember I told you guys that mandu would go well with noodles well we'll put it to the test here's some mandu now some noodles mm. oh yeah that's nice and remember I told you when I was describing the mandu that it's a little sweet now all that sweetness becomes savory when you bite into the noodles because the noodles are sweeter the flavor is sweeter so there well that was a good snack or a meal depends on how you look at it because I ate quite a lot now it's hard to pick a favorite because they all have their merits but I have to choose one I want to choose one and give you guys a first place a number one well I have to go with the uh, corn dog I really enjoyed the taste I really enjoy the flavor. It's a good snack. Make some Filipino spaghetti, right? The recipe, I have it right here. And then pair it with this uh, Korean corn dog. And now for the verdict. These snacks are good and perfect if you feel hungry but not famished. They can stand alone as your main munchie or be versatile enough to be paired with a wide array of meals and complete a whole food experience. And looking through the list of items from where I bought these, Sioux Market Korean Grocery, I saw a lot of items that had cheese in it. Uh, there's a lot of fascination with cheese, I guess, in the Koreans. I don't know. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I love cheese. Got a lot of dumplings as well. Overall, I recommend you to try these snacks or you can have your own adventure and order from Sioux Market Korean Grocery. I'm going to link their page on the description below. Did you guys enjoy our two-part Korean snacks mini-series? Well, here are some more food videos that you can watch. If you made it this far in the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It'll help the channel very much. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for updates on new videos. And remember, you can do so much even with just a little imagination. Eat well and I'll see you again soon.